Yesterday, we were reading through the order of evening prayer for the first day in Lancelot Andrews' private devotions. And uh, as I read one short passage in that, it said this, Abide with me, Lord, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent of this fretful life. Let thy strength be made perfect in my weakness. Now, that phrase, uh, abide with me, Lord, for it's toward evening and the day is far spent, that comes from the Gospel of Luke. After Jesus' resurrection, uh, two of his disciples met him on the road and he and they talked and they invited him to stay with them uh, because it was getting toward evening and they offered him supper and a place to stay for the night. Abide with us for the day is far spent. Now that made its way into this prayer of Lancelot Andrews and that's not unusual. And Lancelot Andrews was being translated and his work was being published in the 1840s. And it was being published by John Henry Newman, who at the time was still an Anglican. Later he'd um, become a Roman Catholic, but at the time he was still in the Church of England. Another man who was clergy in the Church of England at the time was a man named Henry F. Light. He was Scottish, but he was a Scottish Anglican. And he may or may not, I do not know. I tried to find out and I couldn't. He may have been familiar with either this translation or with other works of Newman or of Andrews. Or it could simply be that he went back where they found it and in the Gospel of Luke found the words, stay with us for the day is far advanced, fast spent, and evening is coming. Light had tuberculosis. He would die in 1847 at a rather early age by our standards, by theirs probably not. But he died of tuberculosis. He had gone to southern France, to Nice, where the climate would have been considered better for someone who was suffering from that than, say, Scotland or England. And he wrote these words. Abide with me. Fast falls the eventide. The darkness deepens. Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, oh, abide with me. Swift to its close ebbs out life's little day. Earth's joys grow dim. Its glories pass away. Change and decay in all around I see. O thou that changest not, abide with me. I need thy presence every passing hour. What but thy grace can foil the tempter's power? Who like thyself my guide and stay can be? Through cloud and sunshine, Lord, abide with me. I fear no foe with thee at hand to bless. Ills have no weight and tears, no bitterness. Where is death's sting? O grave thy victory. I triumph still if thou abide with me. Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks and earth's vain shadows flee. In life, in death, O Lord, abide with me.
that too, spoken or sung, is a good prayer.